Okay, here is a complete 360 view. We'll go around. And here are the logos that I put on this window. You got the IC Diamond, which added a wonderful thermal paste for those of you that are looking to upgrade from maybe Arctic Silver 5. I use Arctic Silver 5 for years, and uh, the IC Diamond is really wonderful. I got a Mushkin Enhanced, of course, in this uh, build. I have to use memory and power supplies from Mushkin. And then I have a physics logo, which is expertly done. Uh, thanks, Derek, for that. And then there are my cool ants. You can see them through the side window. Let's go around the back here. Uh, there are the two fans at the bottom that I told you about that keep the hard drive cool. Keeps air moving on the bottom side of the case. The Mountain Mods case that I have is the what's called a Horizon. And if you look at it, the motherboard lays flat in the middle of the case. The case is 18 inches tall, so about 9 inches up, you have a motherboard tray, and the motherboard lays flat. And then, so that gives you a bottom chamber where I can hide every, you know, all the wires and, and everything. And then it gives you a top chamber where all you have to do is show the motherboard and everything's business on top. Uh, there is the one output for the 1200 watt power supply I'm using. Now the UFO case does not come automatically with two power supply outlets. So you can see only one, but I'm using two power supplies, so I had to modify the case. So let me show you what I've done. If I get down here close, uh, underneath the power supply, I had to drill a hole in order to put the uh, power supply wire for the other power supply through the case. Now, I'm not real happy with what I've done there. Because uh, what I, I measured it and everything, and I said the hole has to be this thick, and I need to have it this, and so I put it on there. But what I forgot to realize is that the power supply actually is mounted on the back side of this panel. Where when, when I did my measurements, the power supply I was thinking just stopped there at the end, which of course it is not the case. So I made a small mistake there, but it, it doesn't look all that bad, and. Uh, Again, there's another power supply. If you look through that fan there, it's actually mounted, and I'll, I'll pull the panel off here where you see it in a little bit. It's actually mounted on the other side of the case, and that allows me to be able to reach everything. Now, remember what I told you all about the power supply? You can easily change the color, which I like that. At the bottom, there's the, the outlet to my uh, 2K3U. and my previous builds, I had uh, LED fans that were actually lower flowing than these and so since I'm running such a heat load on the 2K3U I wanted to be able to have the fans that had the higher flow and be able to control that so I put the original Cool Ants fans back in. Okay up here are my quick disconnects that I use on all my builds now. They're Cool Ants quick disconnects and they are awesome. They're awesome for draining, they're awesome for transport, uh, for those of you that are worried about getting into water cooling because you're afraid to get, you know, if you have to drain it or fill it, if you put these outside the case, you never have to worry about getting water on your components because you can completely drain. Uh, you can completely drain your system from outside the case. So what I've done is each each of these disconnects are a male and a female connection, and I have bought extra female connections that I can actually just plug up into it and then it will be a drain. It's not actually hooked to a tubing. And so that's how I drain uh, from outside the case. Y'all can hear my uh, phone ringing in the background. Okay, let's see. Here's the back of the SR2. I've not tried, I've not bought the EV bot yet. I've been thinking about getting it, but I haven't got it yet. I've been too busy. Uh, everything else, you know, there's another part back here that I haven't, that I'm going to change that I haven't done yet. Here's my temperature sensor that gives me the readout right there. That's where my coolant temperature is red. And I originally wanted to stick this inside the case, but man, there's not enough room. So I stuck it outside the case. And this wire it comes with it is like, I mean, it's like four foot long. And so I didn't want to cut it because I didn't want to, you know, I, I don't mind taking risks and cutting things, but I didn't want to cut that because I thought maybe if I needed it longer later. So all I have is wrapped up right now. I don't want to focus too much on that. I'm going to change that. 
I just hadn't done it yet. I may go ahead and cut it and try to modify it because the piece that it hooks into is just inside this uh, panel here. And that's another part too. I, I don't necessarily like these uh, two holes here. And then uh, there are my, from the outside, my four GTX 480s. So let's go ahead and pull the, well let me, let me show you the top panel first. Here's the top panel. And what I've done is I got the SR2 and the EVJ logo, I don't know if you can see that. But if you look at that, that is expertly done. It has two colors on it, expertly. So again, if you want the best logos and decals, uh, please look at my uh, comments down there, I'll have a link. Now I got two Xeon logos and someone might ask, why do you have two Xeon logos? And the reason I have two is if you look at the computer from above, I have one logo over each socket. So there is no doubt in anyone's mind that I have two CPUs in it. Uh, I struggled with it, putting two logos on it at first, uh, but I think I'm glad I done it. So hopefully you all can see it pretty well. And it shows up really well. So let me go ahead and pull the top off and we'll look at the top. Actually, I'll pull all the panels off where we can get a good look at it. 